In our previous lecture, we have completed chapter number 7, part 1. Today, we are going to start part 2. So, let's begin. So, let us start with the first topic of today. Given in your maths NCRT book, page number 103. The question is, mark that picture which is breaking the rule. Also, correct it. So here you can see the picture is drawn in your book. So a bar picture is breaking the rule and we have to correct it. A part. So here you can see the pattern up, down, up, down, up, up. So one picture is breaking the rule. So it should be down. The correct answer should be down. B part. Here pictures of umbrella are drawn. The pattern is left, top. Right, down, left, then it should be top and here it is down. So the correct answer should be top. C part, here you can see pictures of birds. So three times birds are facing upwards and then it should be downwards. So the correct answer should be three times downwards. D part, so here you can see the shapes drawn. So just observe the shapes. First, third, fifth and seventh shapes are similar. But second and sixth shape is similar. And the middle one, fourth shape is different. So the correct answer should be, here I have picked the correct answer. So this topic is given in your maths NCRT book, page number 103. The topic name is Magic Squires. So what are Magic Squires? Magic Squires are square grids with a special arrangement of numbers in them. Magic Squires are square grid with a special arrangement of numbers in them. These numbers are special because every row, column and diagonals add up to the same number. Example. In this figure, 15 is the magic number. If I add 8 plus 1, 9 plus 6, 15. Now if I add vertically, 8 plus 3, 11, 11 plus 4, 15. The answer is 15. Now if I add diagonally, 6 plus 5, 11, 11 plus 4, 15. So if we add every row, column and diagonal adds up to the same number. So we got the number 15. Now the order of magic square tells how many rows or columns it has. So students you all know rows and columns. How many rows are there? 1, 2, 3. We have 3 rows. And how many columns are there? 1, 2, 3. We have 3 columns. So how we write 3 into 3. 3 rows and 3 columns. So a square with 3 rows and 3 columns, it has order 3. So now let us do the question given in your book. The question is, do you remember the magic triangles? Come now, let's make some magic squares. Number 1. Fill the square using all the numbers from 46 to 54. So students, this is a magic square given in your book page number 103. And you can see there in row the number is written 49. And in second row the number is written 46. And in third row the number is given 52 and 47. We have to add them row wise column wise or diagonal, the total should be 150. The total of each line is 150. So how we will do this? So we will start with the third row. In third row, the number is written 52 and 47. So let us write like this. First part, dash plus 52 plus 47 is equal to 150. Now let us add them. It is 99 is equal to 150. Students, 
in junior classes we have done these type of questions what number will come here what we will do we will minus 150 by 99 it will go this side so 150 minus 99 the sum is 51 so we got the number let us write here 51 So now let us add column wise. Forty six plus fifty one. We will get this number. So let us do that. Second one. Forty six plus fifty one plus dash is equal to one fifty. Forty six plus fifty one ninety seven plus dash is equal to one fifty. So again we will subtract one fifty minus ninety seven. It is three. It will be four. It is fifty-three. So we will write here fifty-three. So now let us take first row. We will add fifty-three plus forty-nine. Then we will subtract by one fifty. So fifty-three plus forty-nine, nine, ten, eleven. It is twelve, five, six, and one hundred two. So one fifty minus one hundred two. Ten minus two eight, and it will be four. So right here, forty eight. So now let us take second column, forty eight plus fifty two. So let us add forty eight plus fifty two. Eight plus two ten. Five plus one six plus four hundred. So one fifty minus hundred. It is fifty. So right here. Fifteen. Now let us solve third column. How we will do forty nine plus forty seven. So let us add forty nine plus forty seven. Nine. So right here six and one carry. It will be ninety six. So one fifty minus ninety six. Ten minus six four. It will be fourteen. It will be five. So right here. So now let us check our magic square. The total of each line is one fifty. First, let us check column wise. Fifty three plus forty eight one hundred one plus forty nine one fifty. So now let us check row wise. Fifty three plus forty six ninety nine plus fifty one one fifty. So now let us check diagonally. Forty nine plus fifty ninety nine plus fifty one. One fifty. So the magic square is one fifty. So let's write this answer in your book. So now let us do second part. Fill the square using all the numbers from twenty one to twenty nine. And the rule is the total of each line is seventy five. So students, this is the magic square given, and here only one number is written twenty five, and we have to do. The total of each line seventy five. So now let us take any number in this row between twenty one to twenty nine. So let us take here for example twenty one. So twenty five plus twenty one it is forty six, and we want seventy five. So seventy five minus forty six. So it is nine. And it will be six, so it is twenty nine. So let us write here twenty nine. So add this row. It's twenty five plus twenty one forty six. Forty six plus twenty nine seventy five. So now let us write here any other number between twenty one to twenty nine. So I am writing here twenty seven is fifty two. So now let us subtract seventy five minus fifty two. It is twenty three. So right here twenty three. Now I am writing any number between twenty one to twenty nine. For example, I have written here twenty two. So twenty seven plus twenty two forty nine. So seventy five minus forty nine. It will be six, and this will be six and two. So we will write here twenty-six. Now add these two numbers. It is 
9 plus 2 11 and 2 plus 2 4 51. So 75 minus 51. 75 minus 51. It will be 24. So right here 24. Now we want here number. So let us add 24 plus 23. It is 47. So 75 minus 47. So 75 minus 47, it will be 28. So right here, 28. So now let us check our answer. The magic square is 75. 24 plus 23, 47. 47 plus 28, 75. So now let us check diagonally. 28 plus 25, 53. Plus 22, the 75. So students, write this answer in your book. Next topic, magic hexagons. This topic is there in your maths NCRT book, page number 104. The question is, look at the patterns of numbers in hexagons. Each side has two circles in one box. You get the number in each box by multiplying the numbers in the circles next to it. So students, here you can see the hexagon drawn in your book. So what we have to do? The rule is we have to multiply the circles and we will get the answer in the box. So now let us do these questions given in your book. Now look at the number 65 in the box. Which are the circles next to it? Can you see how the rule works? So in circles we have written 13 into 5. And in box, we have written 65. Now, let's move further. In box, it is written 70. So, 5 into 14 is equal to 70. Similarly, in box, it is written 98. So, two circles will be 14 into 7, 98. Next, in box, it is written 70. So, we'll multiply 7 into 10, 70. Next, in box, it is written 20. So, 10 into 2, 20. So, next, it is 26. We will multiply 2 into 13, 26. Now, let us do the question. Use the same rule to fill the hexagons below. So, here, let us multiply two circles. 11 into 9, that is 99. So, let us write here 99. Then 9 and 108. 9, 12, so 108. So, now here 12 into 7. 12, 7, so 84. Then 7 into 17. That is 119. Then 17 into 6, 102. Then 6 into 11, 66. B part, in circle it is written 4. So what we will multiply by 4, we will get 64. 4 into 16, 64. Then 16 into 8, 128. Then 8 into 8, 64. Then 8 into 13, 104. Then 13 into 6, 78. Then 6 into 4, 24. Students, that's all for today's class. I hope you all have understood Green Man's class. So, chapter number 7, part 2 completed. Now, we'll continue in our next class. Practice these questions at home. Take care. Bye-bye.